Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in long data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on status scratch regarding top five states with five star businesses, both in Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk it through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and this question has been asked in Yelp interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question says, find the top five states with the most five star businesses. Output the state name along with the number of five star businesses and order records by the number of five star businesses in descending order. In case there are ties in number of businesses, return all the unique states. If two states have the same results, sort them in alphabetical order. So basically we are given a data frame called Yelp business and our expected output is also a pandas data frame with two columns, state and the number of businesses sorted in decreasing manner. Right. So if we look at the data frame Yelp business, so you have a lot of different columns, right? So business ID seems like the unique identifier, right? And then name, neighborhood, address, state, right? So we have state and then we have the stars column as well and different categories, right? So we need to find out for each of the states, how many, you know, uh, five star businesses are there and then sort them in descending order and only keep the top five, right? Okay, so to do this, what we can do is firstly, we should apply the Boolean indexing so that we are only, you know, left with the rows where stars is equal to five, right? So what we can do is from this data frame called Yelp business, then we can, you know, provide a list of Boolean true false values, right? Which can act as a filter. So we can write Yelp business, right? For the column stars is equal to equal to five right so this will provide a true false values and it will act as a filter right so this is what we call boolean indexing let me run this okay so if you look at it now all the rows that we will be having is uh, the value of stars column is five right so once we have this then we need to do is group by the state and try to count the unique identifier right so we can count the business id so what we can do is we can write dot group by the state column right and then for the business id column right so business id column let's count right so let me run this let's see what we are getting if you look at it right so you have the business id right so basically this says business id column but it is basically the number of five star uh, businesses in different states but why are we not seeing the state here because you know we grouped by the state so it is an index right now so you can either reset index or here only you can write something like you know uh, as index so you don't want it to be an index right so as index is equal to false right let me run this now so now you have the states and the different business id so, so let's rename this to you know n businesses so that you know it is not confusing to us so what we can do is we can write rename then what do we need to rename columns right and then we can provide the key value pair so we need to change it from business id to n businesses right so let me run this. Let's see what we are getting. Okay, so you have state and end businesses. Now we need to sort this in descending manner, right? Firstly, by the number of five star businesses in descending order. And if in case there is a tie, then by alphabetical order of their state, right? So we write dot sort values, right? So dot sort values and then uh, by so since we need two columns here right so we write a list of columns so by firstly n businesses right so n businesses and secondly by the state right okay and in what order so ascending is equal to it's going to be a list again so descending order by n businesses and ascending order by state right so false and true let me run this let's see what we are getting so now if you look at it right so you have different states and different businesses five star businesses right so if you look at it when there is a tie so uh, it is arranged in ascending order of the state right now we are not done with it yet we only need to keep the top five states from for the most five star businesses right so basically if you look at it so top five is so one two three four but you know this one and this one they all are having three businesses right so you need to keep all these right so even though it says top five but since you know there is a tie so basically you are going to keep top six in this case right so how can we do this 
if you you know use dot i lock zero to five so basically index location zero to five it is only going to keep top five irrespective of whether the fifth one or in the sixth one has equal number of businesses right so we don't need that that is going to be wrong so then what we need to do is we can use a method called n largest in this case right so what we can do is we can write n largest here you need to you know supply like how many largest values you want to keep so in this case five right so it will arrange this arrange the column that you give so here we need to arrange it in descending order by n businesses right so we write n businesses and keep the top five and then you need to also give a value of keep right so it takes three values either first either last or all right here we need to write all why because you know if you write keep is equal to first right so it will say okay so or arrange this by n businesses in descending order so 10 5 4 3 3 and again 3 right but it says keep first five right so it will only keep these but we want to keep all like we don't need to drop to duplicates right even if it means you know you are you need to keep more than five right so and that is what the definition of the question says right so we write keep all right let me run this okay so if you look at it now you have all the values right now if i go ahead and submit it it let's see what happens Okay, so this is green, our output is same as expected output, right? So everything is green. So this is how I do this in Python, right? Now let's see how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. So if you look at it, same question, right? The expected output is same as, as well, right? Two columns, state and end businesses. Uh, the Yelp business table has all the same values, right? So here, what we need to do is like very similar. So from the Yelp businesses, let's keep only those rows where stars is equal to five and then group by the state column, right? Group by the state column, return the state column. And we also need to, you know, count the business ID column, right? B business ID is the unique identifier of this table. So we can write count the business id and we can alias this as n businesses right because that is what we have in the output so we can write as n businesses right let me run this let's see what we are getting uh so yeah if you look at it so different states and the number of five star businesses in it now how can we you know once we have this how can we have that you know same n largest uh you know five of of n businesses and keep all thing here as well so if you look at it you can use the ranking function there are three different ways to rank in mysql right so rank dense rank and row number here rank is going to be the best fit why because if you use row number right so you row number irrespective of whether you have a you know a same value in two rows it will assign different numbers to it so let me you know uh, write order by here right so that you know we can see like why rank is the best best use case in this case right so order by uh, n businesses right n businesses in decreasing manner right so let me run this again Okay, so now if you use row number, right, to do this, so it will rank, okay, one, two, three, four, even though they are same, it will rank five, right? And if you, you know, rank them and say, okay, only keep those rows where rank is less than or equal to five, you are omitting these type of values, right? Similarly, if you use dense rank, right, so it will be one, two, three, and then it will rank these two as four, right? So these two, four, this is also going to be four, and this is going to be five. And then if you do less than equal to five, then it is also going to keep an extra value, right? However, if you use rank, right, so rank is the best use here. Why? Because it will write, okay, one, two, three, and then this is four right and this is again four this is again four and since there are ties so this was four 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 so now this will be seven because rank you know skips whenever there is a tie so it will skip by one right so here you have four then this is four this is four so there are two ties right so it will skip from four to five five to six and then it it will rank this as seven right so when then if you do you know less than equal to five so you are only keep going to keep rows up till here and that is what we need right so that is why rank is the best case here so what we can do is you know we can 
store this in a common table expression so we can write with cte as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses you don't require this here right i was just using this to you know explain it so let's remove this from here okay now from this common table expression let's keep both the columns right so select star and then use the rank window function to basically perform a ranking so rank over and then you know you need to order by n businesses right n businesses in decreasing manner and let's alias this as rank right let me run this let's see what we are getting right so if you look at it now so yeah so one two three four 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 and then this is seven right so now what we can do is we can store this in another common table expression so we can write comma here and then cte2 as and then this entire thing again goes into parentheses right and then from this common table expression right from this common table expression 2 we are only going to keep those rows where rank is less than equal to 5 right because if you look at it right so whatever combination you have so let's say you have 10 here you know 10 here 5 here 5 here and like you have all the fives here and then let's say 2 right so it will be 1 2 2 2 2 2 and then let's say 7 here right so again you are only going to keep the top 5 right so basically in this case we need to keep the top five but in case there is a tie then you don't need to drop those duplicates right so ideally it should be five but if there are duplicates then you keep them as well right so that is what we need to do so that is why this this works right so from this common table expression where rank is less than equal to five you just return the state column and then return the end businesses column right in businesses column and here you need to order by right order by n businesses in decreasing manner and businesses in decreasing manner and the if there is a tie then by state in increasing manner right so if you run this so now you have the output that we require let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, not very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, from this table, keep only those rows where stars is equal to five and then group by the stays to count the number of five star businesses and then try to get the ranking in this case you when you are using mysql and if you are using python you can directly go ahead and use the n largest method right you can you need to provide how many large values you want so five top five right and then you need to write keep all and we understood why keep all is important right and then once you have that then you know you have the output right in mysql you have extra step where you need to you know keep only those rows where rank is less than equal to five we all also understood right why we need to use rank here and not row number or dense rank so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and until then i will see you guys in the next video